there's not a lot I can find wrong with this truck. I think it might need U joints because when you speed up and slow down, there's like a little bit of play in it. That's no big deal, really. What I'm working on here is the headlight because that just bugs the hell out of me having water in there. There's a big hole right here. And there's a cap that kind of screws on it. The cap I took off and it's up in the cab so that the headlight can breathe. At, at 7, at 7.30 I'm going to fire this up and just let it run. See, the tube is going up inside the headlight. So what it's going to do is suck air out and at the same time push hot air from the hair dryer in and that'll dry this I think it'll take a half hour at the most and once it's dry I'm just gonna hope it doesn't get back in I'll inspect a little closer once I can see and it's more daylight because I've got a feeling that water's coming down here and then getting into, you know, you can see how water can come down this rail here and end up here. And then it, it hits this other plate there and then dribbles right to the hole. Well, the hole usually has a cap on it, it's sealed. But that's why these leak, is because water goes right down this channel, hits this thing, and goes over the side. And, uh, gets in the headlight. I'm not sure about in taillights. But that's how it works on this. I don't think it's cracked and has a hole or anything like that. It's just water gets in and then can't get out. So we're going to get the water out and try to figure out how to keep it from getting in. Because this was dry. Another thing I need to work on is, is this. It just don't seem to be connected well. And this little cord piece here just kind of clips in. You can pop it out. I don't know if I really want to do that, but this will unscrew. And right now it's stuck. It's a PB Blaster maybe. We'll fix that. So you joints maybe. Get the get the water out of the headlight and one other thing it keeps telling me I need windshield wiser fluid and it's full. So the sensor is probably screwed up in there somewhere. I bought an eight-year-old pickup. No bed liner. And, you know, it looks like the hitch does. You know, it looks pretty clean. So, I don't think it's been done a lot of towing. And a lot of, this was somebody's, they just drove it around truck, I think. Because it's pretty nice, well cared for, not a lot of damage. It's got a few dings and little scrapes. Huh? 
That's to be expected, you know, on a, an old pickup that it's not going to be perfect. This is completely different. What is this, a little snorkel? In case I want to drive underwater. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool, man. Man, this is clean in here for how old it is. <laughs> 